Are you wondering if your website is still up to par in 2019 or are you in the process of evaluating your website or trying to rebuild your website and you wonder where you have to go? Well, in this video, I want to share why websites, at least that were constructed just three or four years ago, do not work anymore. And specifically in integrative medicine, where you're dealing with patients suffering from chronic disease. Now, if your practice is primarily dealing with insurance or if you're primarily dealing with acute problems, let's say you're a chiropractor or you're an acute or urgent care clinic, then this does not apply for you because the purpose of a website is really connecting website visitors to you. Now, in acute care, people have a high motivation to take action right away. So if you wake up one morning with sciatica, you go to the internet, you find a chiropractor, you find who's available, you call the office and you make an appointment. Very simple. And that is simple because obviously the uh, cost for a first appointment is relatively modest, you know, 50, 100, 150 bucks. So it's not crazy amount of money. Now in chronic disease, people are not just waking up one morning and saying, I need to find an integrative practitioner in Boston, or I need to find a functional medicine practitioner in Boulder or, or an uh, autoimmune specialist in, in Denver, right? And so because that doesn't happen, your website needs to serve a different role. For those people that are in chronic disease, they're not in the mindset of, I need to make an appointment right now. So we don't wanna do anything on our website that moves their thought towards their wallet. We don't want to think them about money, how much it costs, about their wallet. What we want them to think about is like, do I want to address this underlying health issue that I've been struggling with for a long time? You know, am I sick and tired enough to be sick and tired? And so you have to help them make that decision with the content on your website. They have to decide, yes, I'm finally ready to take action. And if you accomplish that, then you're one step closer to actually being the one to help them. And so the next thing that needs to happen is that you need to educate people through a nurture sequence. Because what we know is like nobody is going to read all the content on your website and comes away solidly informed and ready to make a decision, right? It's very hard to do that on the first touch point. So you need a series of dates, you know, maybe seven to 10 touch points over a short period of time to create enough know, like, and trust factor with them that they are comfortable enough to schedule a phone consultation with you. And so the modern website is not equipped um, to do this unless you have what's called a website funnel. Now, what makes a funnel different from a website is that a funnel is a series of web pages arranged in a linear sequence. So a regular website lets people go left and right, go from here to there, what we wanna do in a website funnel is make sure that they watch page one first, they go to page two, page three, page four, they encounter your content in a strategic sequence. You know, I liken it to reading a book. You don't want people to start reading a little bit in chapter seven, then a little bit in chapter four, then go to chapter 11. That's not convincing them that they have to read the whole book, right? So what needs to happen is you need to get them to start reading chapter one first, then chapter two, then chapter three, then chapter four. Now, if your website is a traditionally designed website, you make it available that people can read all kinds of pages in the book. So what you have to do is really change the website into a sequence where it's more of a funnel. They start out at the top, they are interested in the topic that you're talking about, and then you start to educate them. And it's only at the end that you then invite them into a phone consultation where you can connect with them more personally. So if you want to learn more about websites funnels and why your website may need help rejiggering from how it's done traditionally to um, a website funnel, you know, let me know in the comments. Happy to get on the phone with you and see what makes sense for you. We also have additional resources on our website. So check that out and I'll see you in the next video.